Good morning and praise God for this beautiful day. I want to welcome all of you to this very special worship service today. Today's service is one of prayer and praise and song led by Ridgely, South Hills and Community Christian Church. It is such a delight to be able to join together from our different places and spaces and know that it is a day of worship and know that God is with us. Y'all, God is with each and every one of us, connecting us and filling us and reminding us that we are one, united in Christ. You know how I know that? You know how I know that God is with each of us in this very moment? Because God is good. God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. So as we continue to prepare our whole selves for this day of worship, as we prepare our mind, our bodies, and our hearts, I light a candle. I light this candle today to remind us of God's presence in our life that shows up in familiar and in unexpected ways. I light this candle to remind us of the power of the Holy Spirit that unites us. I light this candle to remind us that Jesus is the light that guides us on our path each and every day. And for this, I give thanks. I am so glad that we get to worship together on this day. Let us know that you are here. Say hi in the chat. And if you are comfortable in joining us on Facebook Live, please share this worship service on your very own page, inviting others to be part of today's worship. And it's a way to share a little love and a lot of the good news in the world. Thanks be to God for this day. For in Christ Jesus, we are all the children of God through faith. As many of you as were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. It is no longer Jew or Greek. There is no longer slave nor free. There is no longer male or female. For we are all one. 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 We are all one in Christ Jesus. Many things divide us. Race, gender, age, and class. But Jesus unites us. God makes us one. Let us come to pray. Let us come to sing. Let us come learn from each other. Let us come as one body of Christ to worship the living God.
We're now invited to join us as we come together in prayer. Reverend Dottie Cook will be leading us in our first prayer. Let us pray. Let us pray together. Almighty and all encompassing God, you have given us another day and we are grateful grateful for this gathering of your faithful, separated and yet together in praise of you. In these days, we are so aware of the world in which we live, created by you, even the tiniest detail displays the intricacies of your power. We are surrounded by your beauty. And if we are honest, we are also afraid of this creation. For a tiny virus has brought us to the depths of despair and division and fear and doubt, and the list goes on and on. But you know, oh God, you know what we are experiencing. We pray that as this virus has given us a common theme and common enemy around the world, may it also cause us to see beyond our differences and to help us work together for the health of the world. For our world is in great need of your care, your love and your compassion, your guidance, so that we might be the people you created us to be. We pray for the leaders, those visible and those working behind the scenes in every nation, every village, every community. May the decisions they make be filled with wisdom, compassion, respect, and mercy for all people. And while this respiratory virus unites us, the virus of racism continues to scourge our world with division. We argue and we harm one another. We see violence and abuse in our homes and on the streets. We confess, oh God, that we fear change and we long for change at the same time. We would rather be right than listen. We are tired and on the edge of not caring. And yet we must because we call upon your name and we follow the teachings of Jesus. We are people who believe in holy transformation. Help us, O Holy One, help us to work together in our cities, in our counties, in our states, in our nation, in our world, to build upon the wisdom and witness of folk like John Lewis. Because we are people of faith, we know prayer is the first step, the daily step, the final step, and that prayer will sustain us through whatever challenges we face. And so we pray. We pray together, we pray silently, we pray aloud for the places where we live, the communities that shape our daily living. We offer you the prayers of our hearts. Mm -hmm. 
Amen, amen, amen. As we gather to lift up our individual prayer, it's at this moment that I ask that if you have something on your heart that is troubling you today, you can either write it in the chat or you can just think it. But go with me for just a moment to God's throne of grace and mercy. Oh, heavenly God, our creator, our giver of life, we come before you humbly as we know how this morning. And we want to come saying thank you. We want to say thank you for being God all by yourself. Thank you for loving us, even when sometimes we do not love ourselves. Oh, Heavenly Father, as we come before you to your throne, giving you our burdens of today, asking that you put a hedge of protection around us, that you guide and lead us, and this time of COVID-19, oh, Heavenly One, where we have so many loved ones who are in hospitals that we can't go see. When so many of us are scared to even leave our homes today, we ask that you be with us. For those who have lost loved ones due to this pandemic, we say, touch us, oh, Heavenly One. Give us peace that surpass all understanding. As we come together collectively, but individually, lifting up our lives, we say thank you. Father God, for our teachers who are uh, burdened with whether to go back to school or not, who are worrying about their own families, as well as our other kids, oh Heavenly Father, we ask that you touch them this morning. Those who are only not only dealing with COVID-19, but dealing with physical and mental illness, we ask that you touch it, oh Heavenly Father. For those who cannot see loved ones, and, and Zoom is not enough sometimes, oh Heavenly Father. We just want to reach out and touch, but in this moment, we must stay our distance. We say, give us peace today. Continue to walk with us and lead us and guide us. For your word tell us you're not the altar of fear. So let us trust and believe in you in our moments of despair. We give them to you, oh, this, this morning, oh, Heavenly Father. And as I ask everyone to bring those things to your heart and lift them up to our mighty creator, the one of all powerful, the one who can turn our ups, our downs into ups, we ask that we leave them at the altar this morning. Oh, Heavenly Father, we just say we love you and we adore you. And it's in Jesus' name. As we recall those things who came to our hearts, but not out of our mouths, I ask that we take a moment of silence and lift those up to our creator. Amen. There is much broken in our world. There are many who are hurting. We are hurting, but there is still so much good. God has not abandoned us. God is with us. As we continue in prayer this morning, we turn now to thank God. You are invited and encouraged in the comment or chat section to share your prayers of joy and thanksgiving, to share where you have seen God alive in our midst. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us. God, we are longing for your hope. In a world that seems overwhelmed with despair, we come to you seeking not naive pie-in-the-sky hope, not a hope that puts a smiling face on us while the world burns around us. God, we are seeking a hope founded and grounded in you. You, God, who overcame death, and hate and violence and came out alive with joy, with life and love for all of us. God, we want our hope to be founded in your goodness. God, you have shown us that life and love always speak loudest and last, that in you grace bats last 
And even when it looks impossible, God, especially when it looks impossible, that's when you take center stage with hope and love and life sweeter and better than we could ever imagine. Lord, we seek your hope now. God, we are so thankful that we follow you. You who have shown us with Christ's very light what hope out of despair looks like, what love out of places of hate looks like, what life out of death looks like. God, we are pressed but not crushed, persecuted, not abandoned, struck down but not destroyed, and that is thanks to you. God, you are our source of unending hope. You are the one who loves us unconditionally, and you are with us. God, we don't have words enough to say thank you for the miracles of love you are doing around us. God, we thank you for uniting us in new friendship and community as the body of Christ, even when we're physically separated. God, we thank you for bringing healing into our world and working tirelessly in the minds and hearts of scientists and doctors and caregivers and educators and leaders each and every day to bring your healing. God, we thank you for the ways that you bring us together to be able to empower us to share food with those who are hungry and hope with those who are despairing in community with those who are lonely. God, you are with us now. And your love is so sweet and so powerful. God, we know it is the force that changes this world. God, we give you thanks for always being with us. We pray this, all of this, in your blessed name. Amen. Will you please join me in singing Seed Scattered and Sown?
as we prepare ourselves for communion. And at this time, I invite you to the table. But most importantly, Christ invites you to the table. This is a table where divisions are thrown away. This is a table where God asks us to become one body. This is a table where we can share in the suffering. We can share in the death, being given a new life and resurrection what Christ so boldly did for us. It's in this moment that we become one body. Would you please come to the table with me? Now, let's have prayer. May we pray together. Oh, Holy One, this bread and cup has taken many forms over the centuries. And we are being creative in our own homes each week. And still your presence is known. Whether we use Hershey's Kisses or homemade bread, grape juice or Chardonnay, you are here transforming these glorious elements. The bread of life and the cup of salvation to transform us. And so we are bold to call upon you to pour out your blessings on bread and cup in whatever form and upon all who partake. For we know that through this sharing, we are strengthened. We are given your blessing. We know your forgiveness and your reconciling love that has taken so many forms and has held your people and given them courage and love in the past and the present and in the future, beyond all boundaries, beyond all cares. You are with us and we share. And we continue to lift our voices as we share a prayer familiar to all of us even in its variations. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. It was on that night that Jesus gathered with his friends, friends from all different backgrounds, but friends who had become one in Christ. It was on that night that Jesus took the bread, he blessed it, and he broke it. And he gave it to them saying, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, after he had given thanks, he took the cup and he said, this is the cup of the new covenant, a covenant of God's love and grace and forgiveness and peace poured out for all people. For as often as we eat this bread and drink this cup, we do this in remembrance of him. This is the Lord's table and all people are welcome here. Come with what other elements you have wherever you are and sit at Christ's table for a while. Come feast on the goodness and the love of Christ.
Was grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear. joining us for this spirit-filled worship service. I want to make sure that you know that you are invited to join us on Zoom so we can spend some time getting to see each other's faces, getting to know one another, and of course, just spending time in beautiful fellowship together. So jump on Zoom, and I look forward to seeing your face, friends.
Amen. Thank you, Community Christian Church and South Hills Christian Church and Ridgely. Thank you, God, for this time of worship together. If you're on Zoom, turn on your cameras and let's be the body of Christ together.